Jays hosting the Astros at Rogers Center. Mark Burley looking to get Toronto back in the win column for the first time in a long time. In the top of the second, he gets J.D. Martinez on strikes. Then Brett Wallace also goes down. And then Justin Maxwell with a swing and a miss as Burley strikes out the side. Our game still scoreless bottom four. The Jays have a man on with two men away for Edwin Encarnacion facing Eric Bedard. Encarnacion shoots this one into right field. Jose Bautista with a head of steam. He gets the green light around third. The relay comes in to Jose Altuve, who fires to third to cut down Encarnacion, but not until after the run scores. So it's a ribby double, and the Jays up 1-0. Let's go top five back to Burley as he continues to cruise along, getting J.D. Martinez once again. Then it's Brett Wallace who looks at a cold third strike. Burley a no-hitter through four and two-thirds, but it's broken up here. Justin Maxwell, the clean single into center field, but Burley comes right back to get Matt Dominguez on the can of corn. It is still a one-nothing game. Burley a one-hitter through five. Let's go to the bottom of the seventh. The Jays have a threat. Two on and nobody down for Adam Lind as he faces Lucas Harrell. And Lind sends it high and deep into left field. He barely misses a three-run homer. Settling for the ribby double, two-nothing Jays. Next batter, Meiser Isturis. Base hit. And Tennis Sean is in to score. Here comes Lind around throw. The throw is cut off. Isturis drives in two. That makes it a 4-0 game. Back to Burley as he looks to go the distance. Beginning the ninth inning by getting Jose El Tuve to ground to short. That is out number one. Now facing Jason Castro. And Castro looks a strike three. There's out number two. Burley one out away from finishing what he started as he faces Chris Carter. This ball is hit high in the air. And this should do it. Bautista on the warning track. Mark Burley has his ninth career shutout. And 29th career complete game, a two-hit gem as the Jays win at 4-0, snapping their seven-game skid. Meantime, the Astros have now lost 8 of 9. However, some bad news for Toronto as Brandon Morrow has been ruled out for the rest of the season with an entrapped radial nerve in his right forearm.